host Simran Singh from AnyTechTrial.com. Welcome to this episode of Notable Talks by AnyTechTrial.com, your partner for SaaS, Metaverse, and Web3, where you can plan your full digital transformation roadmap by exploring, comparing, and trying out softwares for free for all of your business and personal needs. Today, we have with us Ms. Oriana Sishthani. CEO and co-founder at Wowplay, and I'm delighted to inform all our viewers that Ma'am has an experience of over 10 years in the field of management, including country expansions, operations launches, and sales strategies. Hello, Ma'am. A very warm welcome to AnyTechTrial.com. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure to be here. It's our honor to have you here with us in the conversation. So let's get started with our words. Being the founder of Wowplay, an educational space for children to develop soft and core skills for future technology leaders, you must have encountered a lot of scenes where digital technologies are utilized in the educational landscape. From your extensive and hands-on experience, how is EdTech changing the learning experience for today's children? And how do you see it changing the whole educational landscape in the future? That is really an amazing question and, and I really love because it's it's actually the change is huge and it has been happening um, thanks or uh, to, the, to the pandemic, it, it's having moving forward so fast. So the reality is that we passed from a model in where everything was offline, probably as you and me uh, learn in school, to a model that it's closer and closer to 100% digital. And, and the pandemic teach us that the e-learning was needed and, and was so useful, not just at schools, but also at houses uh, in order to learn and to be connected with everyday tools. Um, however, what, what we see that is happening now in, in, in the education, is that we have to find the right balance of how the offline and the online can coexist, right? And, and, and the right way of, of focusing the, the, the ed tech is with that combination of the right amount of screens or a responsible use of screens with an experience component. So I think that technology has arrived to stay and every day is going to be more and more important. Uh, it, it is key in the future of our future generations, independently of what they decide to study. And for me, this is key because technology will not be just for coders or programmers. Technology for will be from for anyone. It, it, that includes if you decide to be um, to work in gardens in the future, for example, even though some work that may see very hands-on and crafty, you may also need to understand how um, a system of the water system of how you irrigate the, the plants will work. And this will also have technology. So technology will be not just for coders uh, or programmers, it will be for everyone. Even if you wanna be an artist, you will have to implement technology now for example, selling your art uh, through blockchain. And, and this is something that we have to get used, but it's also important to understand how do we approach or how do we get close from very early age to the technology in a responsible way. I don't know if that uh, answers a little bit the question. Yes, of course, it does, thank you. Today, many companies are adopting digital transformation in their internal operations to customer interactions to effectively and efficiently fulfill their business objectives. How is digital transformation implemented in your workplace? And what are the key areas that one should focus on while adapting to digital transformation? You know that we were born a couple of years ago, that's well played. And I, and I think that more than in having or implementing or having this digital transformation, we were born as a digital company. Uh, and I think that I love that because um, born in this area, 
the challenge is to be able to use different tools. I think that you mentioned two very important points. One is for your internal operations and for giving the best experience or optimize your product for the customers. So uh, talking into both, uh, talking in terms of both parts, um, for us, internal operation is just about optimiz optimizing our time, our resources, and be um, as efficient as possible. So using, even from the beginning, because we are a startup and we are starting, but there are small tools that can actually change completely uh, the way you work. Uh, organizing tools as Asana or Trello that can, for example, um, help you on the organization of your weekly meetings. Uh, how do you work with your coworkers, having a mirror board in where you can have your daily and you can do a sprint planning uh, with posted and everything on digital that everyone has access even working remotely. So I think that uh, taking advantage of these small tools that you can have access sometimes for free at the beginning, uh, you can actually be more effective on the management of your time, your team and your resources. In other hand, there, there is the how do you give a better service to your clients and how do you optimize your resources when you are a startup in our case and you have very small resources and so many things to do. And for example, using tools that we use from day one as hotspot to hotspot to as a CRM and, and working the different relationships with our different customers. In our case, we are a B2C model, and I will tell you a little bit later on, um, but we have everyday constant support to our customer. How do we impact them? And at the beginning, it may sound a little bit more complex because it takes time and effort to implement it. But then when we, you are able to optimize uh, flows and how do you speak, work, and interact with your database? It makes a huge change, and you are able to track resort, uh, results. Due to the increasing digitalization and the impact of the global pandemic, many employees are now working remotely at home. Now, with many companies aware of the threat of cyber security, could you advise our audiences on what steps they could take in implementing a secure working environment? And how do you see the future of remote working? So I think that cybersecurity is a very key topic nowadays and having the right partner by your side is key from the beginning. For me, it's a topic that is a little bit more complex to talk about because we are in a very early stage and right now um, we cannot give the right resources that we would like to for cyber security but i definitely think that is something uh, in where in my opinion you have to come with, with the right partner from the beginning because it's gonna be key as the remote work is more and more common um, and, and and going to the remote challenge that we have I think that also the pandemic pushed us to a model that was 100% remote. And we are going back a little bit to, for example, we are based in Spain uh, and I can talk to you a little bit what is happening here uh, in the ecosystem. And the reality is that everything is pointing to an hybrid model. So in my opinion, physical and interaction and being in a workplace in your can have a meeting, exchange ideas is key, uh, but also having the flexibility and the moments to be more productive because you can actually be more productive at home, depending on the type of task that you have that day is also key. So for example, us as a Wobbly, uh, we have a, a policy of hybrid model in where we have to work 50% of our time at the office and 50% of our time at home. We, we can go at home. We always have the space at the office, so you, you can go anytime and you can have 50 and 50. This is split at the month. So you, you can coordinate, for example, if you want to spend 
few weeks in another country or coming back, uh, you can have it. Uh, but having these specific meetings in where you can meet all, and because we are still not in the metaverse, uh, probably that is going to change when we are in the metaverse. But um, I think that that combination of be have the right flexibility together um, with that opportunity of meeting the people and take having build relationships and connections because at the end we are humans. And I think that that the will be key uh, in the remote working. Wow, such novel thoughts. <laughs> we'll proceed further. <laughs> As digital technologies are being more involved in one's lifestyle and with the introduction of metaverse, digital platforms are now the key for many businesses to survive. With your extensive experience and seasoned knowledge, what do you think? would be the key marketing channels on which one should focus to drive their business and reach their DG in 2022? Oh my God, this is a tough question. <laughs> and the reality um, is that it it's... Here it is, it's a big challenge because now more and more we have more information and the information is accessible to everyone. So we have we are overwhelmed with information. There is too much. Uh, and we are competing in terms of where do we see ourselves in Facebook, in ads. We are constantly with push notifications on every channel. So I think that every day we have the challenge of innovate and on thinking out of the box of how should we arrive to our customers. Because as you can see, uh, for example, if you try to do a, an ad on Instagram, every, depending on what you are selling, it may not be as, as powerful as could be a few years ago because there is it's massive now. So I think that more than the channels, the, definitely without a doubt, the digital channels are more scalable and, and we have to be targeting there because it's, it's where it's going to be easier to get them. We have to think about how do we use these digital channels to innovate on how do we add value in order to arrive to our customer. Because it's not going to be enough with putting our product out there. We will have to create value content uh, and relationships with our customers. The season knowledge from entrepreneurial journey at two companies. Could you be generous enough to share some tips for emerging growth based startups that will help them to establish a strong business drive and succeed across markets in 2022? Let me think. I think that um, it is a challenge. Uh, this is actually my third company, um, Wildplay. Um, and, and I start Wildplay because um, actually during pandemic, I, I had um, this, this thought, I think that a lot of people have this process of thinking about what is the impact that I'm having uh, and what do I see, where do I see myself in the next 10 years? And this together with actually a personal experience of what should we do with kids when we are at home and, and sometimes we don't know what to do, which tools should we give them? And I don't know if you know, but seven out of 10 of kids that are now in primary schools are going to work in careers that doesn't exist yet. So how do we prepare them for the future? And so when I start Wallplay, I started because I really believe in, in some that I could make impact in future generations and how do we make a difference? Um, and I think that m my first recommendation will be like, you have to be sure that you are targeting a problem that does exist uh, or, or a need in the market, because sometimes we get obsessed with our idea and maybe the problem or the need is not there. And when that happens, it's very difficult to take it out. Um, also, for me, the key of, of, of an entrepreneur, and especially 
in this merging growth phase is the is being resilient. So resilience for me is the word that will define an entrepreneur um, because there are going to be ups and downs. And I think that um, planning your worst case scenario and be ready for it uh, together, obviously, with the with the with the with the perfect scenario and as someone told me once like you have to if you can think about the worst case scenario and you can live with that go ahead you have to be prepared for that and I think that being resilient uh, and definitely surround you surround be surrounded by people that is better than you so build a team that complements your abilities and you can admire and you have that and you have resilience and do you have an actual problem? I think then things are going to happen sooner or later, but the things are going to happen. Well, that's probably the best words I have ever heard for a business. <laughs> <laughs> we'll move further. We would love to hear your views about us, anythingtrial.com. So it is, it's amazing how they are here about you. Um, and I think that counting with the right partner when when talking about um, how do you implement these um, tools for your company i think that for when when you have to create your SaaS for um having that productivity in, in the workplace or or building the right relation with your customers it's a tough uh, it's a tough um activity and, and if that's of challenge for a company, especially if you have been growing uh, without those tools. So I think that the digital transformation uh, is key or born being, or, sorry, or be born with the digital transformation is key. And having a partner uh, as any tech trial it, it's a smart thing to do and, and you have to see it as an investment for your company. We'll take that as compliments. Thanks a lot. <laughs> so ma'am, this is the most interesting part of our conversation. It is our rapid fire round. So you have to be really quick and you can't take much long for the answers. So should we get started? Yes, let's start. All right. Then the first one is here. One word that comes to your mind about Yourself. Resilient. Skills. Hands on. Productivity. Ooh, tools. Food. Pasta. <laughs> Favorite movie. Chick comedies. <laughs> Favorite collaboration tool. Trello. One social cause you would like to work for? Kids education. One thing you wish you knew earlier in your life? You don't have to take life so seriously. Oh, that's great. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Oriana, ma'am, for sharing such insightful and in-depth information with us. Thanks a lot. It was my pleasure. Thank you very much. Thank you everyone for joining with us in this episode of Notable Talks by AnyTechTrial.com. Hope you really enjoyed it because we did. And I'm looking forward to meeting you at our new episode soon. Till then, stay connected with us at our social media channels and AnyTechTrial.com. This is your host Simran Singh signing off for the day. Take care and stay safe. Namaskar. <laughs>